Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. Next question. Let's this get one. through these before we before everyone leaves. What is your opinion? This is this is like a we should we we can go forever on this question, I anticipate, but we should probably just cut ourselves as short as we can. What is your opinion on many big cyber companies reporting a decline in malware incidents in their threat landscape reports? What do you think the future of reverse engineering slash malware analysis will look like? And is it time to pick up woodworking? <laughs> a Any time is a good time to pick up woodworking. I Regardless agree. of that, I will I want to have Sergey answer this question because no. I'm sure he has an opinion on this. <laughs> you do. You have to have an opinion on this. This is like your. Yeah, I I'm already, sure you do. I, already, I ranted about this many times before. I know. Jordan doesn't you care. You have to do it again. <laughs> it's a Q&A stream. You have to do it again. Just I, like make it short. I'll, I'll condense it. Yeah. So uh, everything is shifting. Always. Uh, I've been in this industry long enough to see that there are trends. And each trend seems uncomfortable as in there's, you know, the sky is falling. So we saw, like I mentioned before, when we we're talking about malware delivery, when things moved from like, uh, f from exploits, uh, like exploit kits on websites to email, everyone's like, oh my God, no one's going to reverse exploits anymore. That's like a dead field. And then, you know, 20, uh, 2008 comes along, lol, better dust off your exploit uh, reversing kits, you know, this is, <laughs> we're back in exploits. So I think everything is pretty cyclical, um, and I don't see this industry going away uh, anytime soon. But I do see the machines are coming for your jobs, so you better get good. That's what I see. Um, I think that being a tier one SOC operator is going to go from five seats to one seat in the future. And same for a lot of things that can be automated with tooling. Uh, the tooling is catching up. I mean, on the stream right here, Mr. Tooling, right above us here, uh, is writing the tooling, which is literally taking away jobs. So a lot of stuff that used to be a, a human doing is done automatically by his platform and it his platform is enabling people to do even more automatic shit in the future so i think and just all the like, other all the other platforms are trying to do that i i know we're, yeah. we're all binary ninja fans but uh, all no, the no, other no. platforms everyone's are... doing it yeah everyone's yeah. trying to do it the only people who aren't doing it is ida but that doesn't really matter like they they're in their own way they are sort of but like you know, it doesn't really, they're not a good litmus test for what the future looks like. The future looks like these tooling platforms like Anger and shit like that, which are sort of like yeah. single use or not single use, but like frameworks that can automate large scale tasks, but specific tasks. And that kind of stuff is like, uh, it's happening in the software industry. It's happening all over tech. And anybody who is happy uh, creating uh crud software for a company you know where you have like a you know, your model view controller and you're gonna create some interface for people to like uh you know push in a database and save it for later like that job is going out the window and it's the same exact thing for anybody who thinks that they're going to be uh getting paid big dollars to like look at some sort of non-obfuscated c binary in ida and tell people what the features are of that malware that is going away faster than you could ever imagine. So that's what I think is happening. The machines are coming. You better get good. You better understand how to write tools and you better understand where the value of a human is in the in the workflow. Um, but reverse yeah, engineering you, you is need, not going you anywhere. You need to write the automation. <laughs> yeah, as yeah. somebody says in chat, you need somebody to write the automation, but you need far yeah. less of them, which is why you didn't say yes. it goes down to zero, it goes from five to one. And that's it goes totally five to one. Yeah. Yeah, and you still need humans to run the machines. So you're, it's not like the stock sock job will go away. You will still have level one sock guys, but that level one sock guy is going to be good at pushing buttons. That's his that's his thing, right? Whereas now you might have one guy who's good at pushing email buttons and one guy who's good at pushing like native host binary buttons. Later on, it's going to be just one guy pushing all the buttons. That's that's how it's going, and a bunch of engineers underneath him or her uh, building software. That I I think that's that's it. I don't think that's in dispute um and unless there's some sort of massive failure in the industry uh it, the progress all looks like it we're heading towards that happening quicker than you might imagine um things have happened faster Funny, I had... I'm, I'm speaking go ahead 
Well, as I was gonna say, I, I came again more from the, the vulnerability research side, right? So I was looking at like exploits and vulnerabilities. 20 years ago, a friend told me, he's like, exploits are done. Microsoft's got SDLC, <laughs> like exploits are going away. And I was like, okay, you're crazy. Like clearly that's not gonna happen because it turns out people are the ones still writing software. Uh, one, that's changing. That may actually not be yeah. true. You know, going forward, there'd be less and less people writing software and software writing software. But but in general, yeah, that obviously wasn't true. We've had 20 years of just tons and tons of exploits. Um, so I, I t that was the first half of your right, comment about, yeah, this stuff's not like, it's changing. It's just changing. It's not going away. It will be different. And so there's always more malware. There's always, as long as there's money to be made in writing malware, there'll be people doing it, right? So what that looks like, I mean, ransomware wasn't a thing. 15, 20 years ago, right? Yeah. And that that completely took over. What will be the next thing? I don't, you know, who knows? But there will be there will be stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's All cool. right. I totally agree on the, on the ML side too. Like MLN and like AI stuff is, it's gonna be it's hard to find something that won't be impacted. Honestly. I think yeah. this is a delightful answer to this question, and I, I know you can like any anybody can probably go on about this forever, as Sergey has done many times in the past, <laughs> but. Uh, I think it's good to move on to the next question before we do, because it will derail everything otherwise. So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.